Hello once again my dear YouTube friends. Today I am going to show you how to change the hardware acceleration settings for Windows Vista and Windows 7. Most of you might be wondering how to change the hardware acceleration settings for Windows Vista and Windows 7 which is required by some of the applications such as screen recorder software which require the hardware acceleration setting to be disabled. But one negative aspect of Windows Vista and Windows 7 is that most of the times will find that the hardware acceleration tab is grayed out. That is, you can't change this settings. This is because Windows Vista and Windows 7 requires the hardware acceleration setting to be enabled. You can't change the hardware acceleration setting for Windows Vista and Windows 7 because Windows Vista and Windows 7 requires a lot of graphics and without hardware acceleration enabled, uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7 won't work properly. So today I'm going to show you a workaround how to make the applications that require hardware acceleration to be disabled to work in Windows Vista and Windows 7 without any lags or without any problems such as the screen recorder software which lags sometimes if you do not disable the win uh, hardware acceleration setting. So today I'm going to show you a workaround on how to disable hardware acceleration setting for specific applications. Now, the greatest impact you can make on the speed of your computer and the uh, acceleration, uh, hardware acceleration is that you can change your Windows color and appearance. Make sure that your Windows Vista or Windows 7 is not set to error settings. The error settings takes a lot of uh, graphics and uh, your applications might lag when running in the error uh, mode. So make sure it's not an error. Most of the times I prefer to uh, use Windows Vista Basic and I suggest that you also use Windows Vista Basic or if it's Windows 7, I uh, use Windows 7 Basic uh, theme. Okay. Now if you want to improve the performance of some of the applications such as uh, uh, screen recording software like Cam Studio or Camtasia Studio or anything, I would prefer using these one of these settings Windows Standard or Windows Classic I know the graphics is too bad and they look too bad uh, but for the meantime only while as long as you have used applications uh, as, uh, the screen recording applications you can use these settings and then you can set it back to normal Windows Vista Basic never put it to error it takes a lot of RAM and it's really slow Let's go to Windows with the standard or classic, anyone you like. I think standard uh, classic is better. Okay, apply. Okay, in this system, all the graphics look really bad. There are no 3D effects, transparency or anything. So, as long as you just want to use applications like Cam Studio or anything, you, are, you should be comfortable with these settings. And then after you have finished using those applications, you can set back, set it back to the previous Windows with the basic settings. Okay, now for specific applications, how to disable hardware acceleration for specific applications? You can't disable hardware acceleration for the entire Windows system in Windows Vista and 7. So I'm going to show you how to disable it for specific particular applications. Okay, go to wherever you are application is installed. For example, I'm going to change the settings for Cam Studio. Uh, yeah, here it is. There's a folder where I've installed it. Yeah. Oh, Cam Studio Recorder. Yeah, here is the Cam Studio Recorder. Okay, now I'm going to disable the hardware acceleration, not disable the hardware acceleration actually, but change the settings so that it performs well in Windows Vista and Windows 7. Okay, here is how. Right click the application, go to properties, make sure the compatibil compatibility is in Windows XP Service Pack 2 or in Windows 7 you can choose Service Pack 3 also. So I'm running Windows Vista so I choose Windows XP Service Pack 2 run this program in compati con compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2 and then make sure you check disable visual themes and disable desktop composition 
okay these settings will help improve the performance of a particular application which require uh, hardware acceleration to be disabled and like for sprint to cut applications like cam studio and camtasia uh, the lags that occur while recording will be lesser in these settings okay okay sometimes you might uh, see that some applications don't work uh, and they crash down to the desktop so if that's the case make sure you don't change the compatibility let the compatibility remain in windows vista or windows 7 but please make sure to check these two options okay windows vista okay apply okay Okay, so that's all so when you use your applications you will see an improved performance in the application and uh, most of the time people look for hardware disabling hardware acceleration disabling when they are using spring recorder software so I hope this tutorial helped them and note please do not use hardware uh, please do not disable hardware acceleration for games because they need hardware acceleration otherwise they won't work like uh, the latest games won't work without hardware acceleration okay, that applies to Windows XP because you can't change uh, hardware acceleration in Windows Vista and Windows 7 you can of course in Windows 7 uh, like the previous like how I showed you previously you can change the properties of the game application and set it to compatibility of Windows XP if you like but you can also check disable visual themes and disable desktop composition it's not actually disabling hardware acceleration so in Windows Vista and, and Windows 7 you can check these two without disabling the hardware acceleration settings and the games will work fine and it will and the performance will be improved and the game will work re really fast if you find that your games are lagging or they are acting jerky or anything Okay, so in, but in, for Windows XP users, please do not disable hardware acceleration while using games because that might cause hardware problems with their games or anything. So it might crash down to a desktop and the games might not work properly. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.